everyone, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new speed build video. Today we are going to be building a seaside cottage in the world of Windenburg which is the world that came with the get together pack. And today's build is going to be a fun build and a pretty small build and I don't know if it's a small home or a considered a tiny home because I didn't fix the um, information of the lot that we are building on so it might be a small home or it is just a tiny home but you can always change it to whatever you want it uh, but anyways today we are building a seaside cottage and i really like this build because it's super tiny and small compared to what i usually build and it is kind of i would consider a break from like building really really big builds and family homes but today's build is going to be only fitted for one sim and it is on a lot known as Mid Nowhere and Mid Nowhere is the lot that I built one of my early builds for this channel which is the Bell's Cottage I believe and at first I wanted to go for this kind of like slopey roof and one of the roof is extended and bent but I couldn't really figure it out how to do that so I just you know left it like that and just kind of build a suburban style house and it is in fact a small cottage so it only fits one sim like I said and also has one bedroom and also one bathroom and the dining hall of this build is actually outside <laughs> at the back of the house you will see after this but I wanted to build this kind of house where it is on a slope or a hill because I never really experienced or experiment with terrain tool a lot uh, for for most of my builds so I decided to try it out for this build and I wanted to put the house on a hill quote unquote hill or a slope and then add in some rocks as a support around the hill so I did that and I used the debug items from the cats and dogs pack which you saw that I put the rocks that I sized them down because they were too big and I fitted it so like it looks like the house is supported or the hill is supported by the rocks and I quite like how it turned out because it looks natural to me and at the back here I decided to put in a dining area over here which is outdoor and then put in a staircase that is built in the hill that I built so it is it doesn't have any like arm support for the stairs at the back but I quite like it, um, how it looked this way instead of putting some arm support because when I put in the arm support for the stairs over here it just kind of looked awkward and misplaced so I decided to just leave it blank and make it look like it's built in the uh, terrain but anyways this house also has a glass area over here which I will be turning into a living room and I decided to include that glass area since at first I wanted to build a greenhouse within the house <laughs> but it didn't turn not the way I wanted it to be so I decided to turn that area into a living room while keeping the glass house effect uh, in place and then over here I'm just decorating the terrain with some terrain paint and at first I wanted to put in the debug items that came with the base game and also kind of create this lake around here that so surrounds the uh, rocks that are supporting the hill but it turned out really ugly and also because of the space that was limited and maybe I could have done this if the lot was bigger and I didn't really have that in mind at that time so I just left um, this lake here it will be gone later on but I was trying to like just experiment the how it looks like with the lake and also some terrain tools and also some pond tools like those lily pads over there and as you can see I just you know completely made it vanish and then I was trying to like smoothen out the hill to make it look more like slopey and more natural and so I also decided to put in some debug items over here which are floating over there so I decided to shift them so that they are lying on flat ground over there so so if for your information if you want to place debug items you have to place it at a level off or if not you know it will kind of look weird because it will be floating in the air and then I put in some rocks just to cover up the space that was um, a little bit making the bushes floating um, but for the landscaping I quite enjoyed the landscaping because it is really simple and at first I wanted to kind of to do a pathway on the right side of the slope you see over there but then I will be at uh, I mean I will be changing that to a normal um, landscaping area which doesn't have any pathway because it looks simpler like that and also 
it's different from what I usually do so I decided to go with that and then I also added in some bougainvillea um, decorations from the island living pack which are red in color just to add in a bit more color than um, what is there you see it's only green and white and blues I decided to add in the bougainvillea red colors to make it look more colorful a little bit for the landscaping since it is in the middle of mid nowhere <laughs> so I decided to add in a color um, which is red to make it look more you know more flowery like that <laughs> but for the landscaping also it is not much it's just a couple of bushes here and there and then I also added in some planter boxes that came with the debug of the um, I think it is outdoor retreat that is one of the first packs to come out from the base game but we are moving on to the interior and for the interior I decided to go consistent of course with the color scheme outside which is blue color and I wanted to use colors that are kind of light blue and not dark blue because when I think of a seaside or lakeside cottage the blues are not as dark as you imagine it to be it's kind of like some seashell blue colors I'm not so sure if you know what I mean but those are the colors that I had in mind so I decided to include them in this build and then over here I didn't really know whether to put this one that is from the nifty dating stuff pack either this or the DHD pack which is the box one but since the box one from the DHD pack the box shelf is more protruding than this one over here I decided to use this one over here since it looks less obvious that it's sticking out so it kind of gives that more calm effect i would say <laughs> but over here we are decorating the hallway which i will be putting just a shelf with some clutter on it from the cats and dogs pack i'm not actually sure what they use it for usually people what what do they put on that thing over there i'm not so sure but i just added in some clutter objects to make it look more lived in and also it, it doesn't look too organized in a sense that everything's not so arranged properly but over here is going to be the living room like I mentioned in the beginning of the video which has a glass house effect and I also put in this fireplace which I will be play testing right now <laughs> um, just to make sure that it's accessible and it is accessible so you don't have to worry about moving the fireplace around elsewhere other than that position that I put it in but over here the living room is pretty um, I would say like pretty light and bright and also there is minimal clutter on this um specific specific area <laughs> um there's just a television with a couple of book clutter and also uh some other clutter objects and i paired the table with the chair that is from the backyard stuff bag which really looks like it belongs to a cottage because of the straw like material that you see um, and I really like the fluff pillows that come with it because I chose the color blue and there, there, there was the perfect blue that I was searching for and then I also put in a guitar in the corner because I imagine the sim that lives here is maybe a young sim who is not so much into like technology and trends so he or she just likes to calmly spend their time at this lovely cottage um, and just enjoy the calm breeze from the sea <laughs> but over here is their bedroom and it is a single bedroom I just put in some uh, bedroom essentials like a wardrobe and also a study table so that there is an activity for your sim to do and for this window over here I had to place the clutter around where I actually had to place it from the outside instead of the inside of the build so that you can put the stuff like directly and centered on the um, extending window over there but over here is going to be the only bathroom which is blue in color and then we are moving on to this outdoor uh, table dining table set over here and that is pretty much it for the video and yeah I think that is pretty much it because there is nothing else that I will be furnishing but anyways I really hope you guys will like this build if you do like this build please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you want to download it you can download it downloaded on the gallery under my ID which is Simukai and I hope to talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!